Good morning, 12 Prudents. Welcome to our UCSP class. Since it's summertime, we'll have a virtual summer getaway. So who's ready? Kindly click the word me depending on the level of your excitement. Is it me, me, me? <laughs> or a, B, or no answer means um, speechless. Thank you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Waiting for others. Ah. Thank you. So 53.8% the majority I highest level of excitement. <laughs> Yeah, and to make it more fun, we'll be with our principal, Ma'am Maria Nicolas, our assistant principal, Ma'am Felicitas A. Perez, our two master teachers, Sir Jess Aguilar and Ma'am May Villanueva. So don't forget to join our session in your pad, class code 4E7D3. Okay? So let's start with a prayer to be led by Isabel Torres, a member of group number one. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we thank you for granting us another day to learn effectively in our online class. We know that we can still be together like this in spite of the circumstances because of, all, because of your all-bounding love and generosity. May you bestow upon our teacher, Mom Josa, your divine wisdom, so that she can transmit the knowledge she has competently. Bless her good heart. May she also recognize you in each of us. Bless us too that we can learn and imbibe vital knowledge that would make this world a better place to live on. Make us realize that learning is a good way to spread your message of love and peace. We ask all these in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Isabel, how about our attendance? There are currently 50 people oh. in the class, <laughs> in the meeting, and that includes you, Ma'am Josa, Ma'am Nicolás, and Ma'am Vivian Weba. And there are currently 29 students who have reacted to your message in the group chat. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like you are so excited for today's lesson. So... Well, Prudence, kindly open your cam for five seconds, wave your hands, and show the world your beautiful and energetic smile. Koi koi. Ayan, thank you, Ernest. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, no, team yellow for today. Ah, yeah. uh, thank you. Okay, sige, pwede nang mag-close. I'm so happy na makita kayo ng lahat. Ayan. So, sakay na tayo. Going beach and let's hear the rules and regulation for our safe and fun tra uh, virtual travel. Let's listen to CJ, a member of group number two. So for our rules and regulations, there are four. The first one being unmute your microphone if you are going to speak and mute it while listening. The next is communicate with the teacher via text or call if you experience internet connection problem. Sit properly and listen attentively. And last but not the least, prepare your laptop, computer, gadget, and module that we will be using in our online class. That's Thank all. You. Thank you, CJ. First up, Memory Island. So it's about our past lesson. You need to match the word to its correct meaning using Nearpod matching pairs. Again, you need to match the word to its correct meaning using Nearpod matching pairs. I think for two minutes. Let's start. Go. Okay, Joshua, kindly share with us the correct answer. Uh, Ma'am, um, good morning po. Um, so, for First social... Ah, uh, social norm. For social norms po. Um, ay, for deviance po muna pala. Ma right. um, it is oh, um, any belief, behavior, or condition that violates significant, significant social norms. <laughs> Next. Um, for social norms po... Um, 
it, it, it is rules developed by a group of people that specify how people should and should not behave in various situations. And okay. lastly, po, for values um, held by individuals or groups about what is desirable, proper, good or bad. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy that you recalled our past lesson. Let us check. Wow, perfect score. Uh, say, ba, don't worry. No, my self-paced uh, game naman dito. Okay. So, it's a great time to swim. Click fishy if the statement is not correct. And not fishy if the statement is correct. Again, ha, fishy, not correct. Like you smell something fishy. And then not fishy if it's correct or true. Let's start. In Nearpod, choose your character, then click start. Sige, go. Oh. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you, Nearpod. <laughs> Last four. Two. Okay. Waiting for one. Okay. Let's start. A social group is a collection of two or more people who interact frequently and share common identity. It's Oh, the correct answer is not fishy. Oh, <laughs> wow, Ernest. Next. The types of groups are according to nature of social ties, organization, and purpose. Is it fishy or not fishy? No. Additional is according to identification. We consider our family as primary group and ours are close friends or secondary group. Wow, Isabel. <laughs> group. Next. Social groups do not necessarily fulfill one of the basic psychological needs, which is belonging, sense of belonging. Is it fishy or not fishy? Wow, Drexler. <laughs> The correct answer is fishy, you know? Because it fulfills our psychological needs. Last question. Social group is vital in solving different social issues such as child abuse, UR, GI, and disaster. Oh, <laughs> so the correct answer 
is not fishy. Congratulations, Isabel, our top scorer. <laughs> Nag-review to, <laughs> nag to. So our lesson for today is about social groups, our most essential competencies, analyze the types and functions of social groups and organizations. We're going to analyze types and functions of social groups through answering Aquaman's critical questions related to topics such as child abuse, urban resettlement, GIDA, and disaster. Appreciate different types of social group through group dynamics, Aquaman's challenge, and write and share a short reflection on forms and functions of social groups entitled Be Assure, Member, of Marisay and the community at large. So let's start. Here's the outline, meaning groups of social group, types of social group, and importance of social group. When we say group, it's a unit of interacting personalities with an interdependence of roles and statuses existing between members. So when we say statuses, socially defined position in society characterized by expectation, rights, and duties. Example, status as a student, as a teacher, as a child, as a wife, as a husband, etc. Rules is a set of or so, set of behavioral expectation associated with a given status. Example, my role as your teacher and your role as my student. And when we say social group, it's a collection of two or more individuals who have relations with one another and uh, interact frequently and share common purpose and identity. Throughout our lives, 12 Prudence, most of us participate in groups from our families, childhood friends, high school cl classmates, um, org mates, or community and organizations, and even to society. It fulfills one of basic psychological needs for survival, which is person's sense of belonging. This allow, allow uh, us with a common or shared experience to reach out and help each other. And maybe especially important if other social groups like family and friendships have been compromised or are not sufficient for the required support. Nandiyan yung ating mga kagrupo. And it is vital in identifying, solving social issues. Example of this phenomenon, formation of groups, community parties, other organizations to improve daily lives of individuals living in a shared society. And take note, interdependence is a necessary condition that exists within social groups because it is what enables members to pursue shared goals, common values, and principles. So to analyze to, and appreciate this uh, type of groups, yeah, according to social ties, identification, organization, and purpose, each group has a designated Aquaman's challenge and critical questions integrated within subject and across the discipline. It is also responsive to different social issues, issues such as child abuse, urban resettlement, GIDA, and disaster. After each presentation, other groups will give their score using the Nearpad bo board, while selected group will answer the critical question using Nearpad Q&A. For the score, total score na lang. No? Here's the rubric. Uh, here's the summary from types of social groups, your social issue assigned to you, challenge and critical question. And here's Aquaman's rubric. Uh, explanation and analysis, 50 points. Clarity, 30 points. Timeliness, no, for two minutes only, 10 points uh, total. So timeliness it is 20, no? So sorry, mali yung ano dyan, no? So total is 100 points. So first type of social group according to social ties. So when we say primary, it's small, less, specialized group, specialized group each, in which member engage in face-to-face -face and emotion-based interactions. Over what? Ex Extended period of time. Example, our family, close friends, and peers. That's your primary, that's our primary group. When we say secondary, it's large and more specialized group in which members engage in more impersonal or goal-oriented relationship. Example, schools, churches, corporations, and other organizations. So we all know that family, close friends, teachers, and other people have significant role in life of a child. 
to analyze and appreciate this type of group, Group 1 will present to us their pie graph that shows the statistics of child abuse status in the Philippines. Go Group 1. Go Patricia. Uh, I will wait for your presentation. Well then, hello everyone, and we are Group 1 of 12 Prudence, and we are going to present to you the pie graph uh, for uh, the topic that we are uh, that we, that is assigned to us, which is, next slide please, the statistics of child abuse status in the Philippines. So we all know that child abuse is a serious issue and that uh, it is uh, one of the serious uh, issues uh, that we need to, uh, that the government and the, its people has to uh, overcome in order to have a successful government. So um, I uh, all of these numbers, uh, sure, uh, I can explain each and every one of them, but um, the only thing that uh, I need for you guys to understand is that uh, this graph shows that there are many types of child abuse. Child abuse is not only physical, it's not only mental, it can also be social, it can also be uh, um, a moral or ethical issue. So a child abuse really is, really is uh, a serious topic that we need to discuss. And uh, here today, uh, we can discuss um, some brief uh, uh, brief uh, topics uh, about it and also how do we uh, necessarily uh, mitigate and uh, adapt to it. So next slide. Data on the role of family and friends in preventing child abuse. Next. Well, what is child abuse? We need to define first this term. So next slide. Uh, child maltreatment is a risk of harm caused by a parent, caretaker, or person responsible for the child's safety via these four means. So next slide. It's either neglect, physical abuse, sexual abuse, or emotional abuse. So these are self-explanatory. So why does it occur? Next. Lack of preparation of knowledge. Uh, lack of understanding of child's development. Next. Unaware of alternatives to corporal punishment. or uh, And another thing is a uh, lack of knowledge of the uh, basic needs of children and inherent challenges in raising, raising children. Next. So now on the main course, how individuals can help. Next. Well, we have uh, so war um, warning signs that a child might be abused or neglected. So feel free to take note. Uh, so next slide. So remember these risk factors, abuse of alcohol or drugs, isolated by the parents of communities. Basically, um, in conclusion, this is uh, where the parents are, are at fault. So uh, the parents contributed to the child abuse. Next. Uh, we must, uh, as individuals uh, that uh, observes, observes this uh, phenomena, uh, we should report our concerns. Next. Help a family under stress. Next. Be an active community member. Next. Keep your neighborhood safe. Next. And uh, for safeguarding children. Next. Explore and promote uh, prevention resources. Next. Know the signs and how to report child abuse. Next. And uh, the warning signs of physical, sexual, and uh, mental abuse. Next. And regularly check in on your neighbors and friends who are parents. So next. One must understand why and how child abuse happens in order to prevent it. Next. Uh, Report severe cases, prevention of uh, family to build strengths and stuff. Next. And thank you for listening. So that's all and thank you. Thank you, group number one. So kindly assess your classmates or yung group po na nag-present using Nearpod. Ayan. So 
explanation and analysis 50, presentation 30, timeliness uh, 10 points. We'll wait for others. So based sa kanilang pie graph, pinakamaraming na abuse is female. At so for physical and neglect, no? Yung pinakamarami. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Very informative. Okay. Ayan. So pie graph or chart or best or chart, pie charts are best to use when we, when we are trying to compare parts of a whole. No? Masakikita natin alin yung pinakamalaki, alin yung pinakamaliit. And I agree with you, no? Uh, we'll give uh, 48 points for the analysis and explanation, 30 points for clarity, and 10 po points for the timeliness. We'll give uh, group number one 98 uh, points. Thank you. So here's my question for you. For 12 students, what are the functions of primary and secondary groups in preventing child abuse in the Philippines? So while waiting for your answer, let us hear group number two sa kanilang critical question, answer question. And boom. Um, so for our group two, our answer for the question, what are the functions of primary and secondary groups in preventing child abuse in the Philippines is primary group consists of family, close friends, and peers. As a parent, you must discipline your child in, in the right way. Remember that discipline is a way to teach your child. Be a nurturing parent. Use your actions to show children conflicts can be settled without hitting or yelling. Meanwhile, as a friend or a peer, educate yourselves about child abuse as the first group presented. Always check and examine the behavior of your friend. Abuse is not just physical, both words and actions can inflict deep and lasting wounds. For children to grow up intellectually and spiritually, they need to go to secondary groups like school and churches. It is up to all of us to ensure our children grow up in the environments that build confidence, friendship, security, and happiness. These places leave an important role as they not only render learning and education, but also ensure children's safety and protection as priority. Learn and recognize the signal first, which may occur through criticizing a child as adults. We can do proper talking to the child, encourage them and give answers to their questions. Let the child explain to you in their own words what happened, but don't interrogate the child or ask leading questions. Lastly, be respectful and maintain the confidentiality. Um, the second question, Papu Bae. Go. Okay. For the second question, why should we understand how individuals behave as part of a political community? So our answer for that question is a political community is one of the most important institutions of contemporary life, where the government is accountable to the citizens and the citizens are under the government. It is crucial to understand how individuals behave as every person is part of the community. Each has a special role to fulfill for a pol political community to work as one. It is important to understand that these roles so that every one of us will know what to do. Therefore, if each individual behave accordingly, crisis or dysfunction inside the political community will be avoided. If we are not aware or we do not understand each person's behavior, we would not be able to recognize a problem within the system easily and it may cause a total dysfunction of the community if even one individual refused to cooperate and resolve the setback right away. And that's our answers to the questions. Thank you so much, group number two. And 50% ng 12 prudence, meron silang response in our near pod. No? Totoo, no? it's awareness that the first step down ng healing. So let us see. Provides uh, surveillance and uh, safety for other people. Uh, prevention naman for, ano, for Patricia, check how they treat the other members to be able to protect uh, from facing more cases, child abuse. All right, thank you. So each one has a role to prevent child abuse. So whether we are at home, in school, or in a community, we must show our love, encourage one another, or uplift one spirit. Pakahalaga talaga, no? Sabi nga sa kasabihan, it takes a village to raise a child. 
And also, it takes a village to abuse one. Kaya napakahalaga na aware tayo at alam mo yun, uh, nagbibigay love and protection si Satisa. Next type is according to identification. So when we say in group, feel strong identification and loyalty with the members of their own groups. Out group, obviously, they do not belong sa grupo na yon. To which um, he or she may feel feel hostility. When we say reference group, it's your standard or you use this specific group as standard in evaluating or understanding yourself or your attitude. No, for example, pa para sa yung BTS yung standard ng magaling na dancer. No, so we call it reference group. To some extent, every social group creates boundaries. Like members use title, external symbol, dress, and members tend to clash to, or compete with members of the out group. Okay, so members apply positive stereotypes to their in-group and negative stereotypes to out-group. Advantage, of course, it strengthens the unity within the group. Disadvantage, discrimination. It can cause discrimination. Second is the formal organization and the informal. When we say formal organization, it has well-defined rules and regulation. And uh, we have specific policy on staying or leaving the group. For example, banks, organizations, hospitals, and edu educational institutions. May contrata in joining and staying and leaving. While in formal organization, any person can join, can participate, and can live whenever he or she wants. For example, a group of students sitting in playground, talking with one another. So that is informal group. To analyze and appreciate this type of group, Group number three will present their spoken word poetry, written in Filipino. It's about giving hope to the homeless and to the poorest of the poor, especially in Gida or geographically isolated disadvantaged areas and informal settlers in disaster-prone areas. Go, group three. Tulungan, sila pa yung kadalasan na bibigyan ng les. Sila rin yung mga taong nakikita nating natutulog sa gilid ng kalsada. Mga namumuhay sa baba ng tulay na kahit dilim pa sobra. Walang pagkain, walang tiraan, walang tubig kasi wala silang sapat na pera. Mga naaabuso, mga nadededma, na pagsasawalang bahala. Mga maralita, mga taong may pinakamaliit na kita na ating madalas nakikita na kumakahit para makakita kasi ayaw nilang makita na yung kanilang pamilyang sinisinta ay naghihirap ng sobra. Gidas, yan ang kinapabibilangan ng kanilang karamihan o ang geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas sa buong pangalan. Sila yung mga madalas nating nababalitaan na mga taong maakit baba pa ng kabundukan para lang makapunta sa kanilang paaralan. Kasi yung transportasyon sa kanilang bayang kinalakhan ay masikip, delikado, maliit, sobrang hirap madaanan. Kaya't pinang mag-aaral na nasa sekundaryong level pa lamang 
Ay, pasensya na. Pasensya na. Tanggalin na muna natin yung lamang. Kasi hindi naman tayo dapat nila lang lang. Dahil lang pabigyan ng tulong at support ay abot naman ng ating kakayahan. Tayo rin naman edukado naman na kayang makiramay at umunawa sa kahit anong paraan. Ako inyong pagbigyan. Ulit. Kaya't bilang mag-aaral na mas sekundaryong level ng edukasyon, nais namin magbigay pag-asa sa mga tao na sa ganitong sitwasyon. Sa pamamagitan ng pagtanong sa inyo ng mga kailangan naming impormasyon tulad ng inyong mga problema at hinain upang ito yung mabigyan namin ng tama at angkop na solusyon. Nang sa ganito ay may padama namin sa inyo na may mga nakikiramay sa inyo. Handang tumulong sa inyo at handang umaksyon para sa inyo. Hindi namin kayo bibigyan ng mga linyang work harder para umunlad kasi alam naman namin hindi yan aplikado sa lahat ng tao sa realidad. Kasi iba-iba tayo ng kakayahan at ang king abilidad. Hindi naman tayo lahat may kagamitan. At hindi lahat tayo nabibiyayaan ng oportunidad. Kaya sa mga taong katulad naming G tumulong, halina't magsilbing pag-asa sa mga taong walang sinisilungang bubong. Mga taong sa kahirapan ay nakakulong. Tayo magsilbing pag-asa, magtulong-tulong at magkaisa sa kanilang mga patuloy na umaasa. sa bulok at korap na sistema. Ating ipadama at ipakita sa kanila ang pakikiramay natin. Simulan natin ito sa di pagtrato sa kanila bilang mas mababa sa atin. Atin silang tratuin ng tama, respetuin at galangin. Huwag rin tayo maging pribileyo na pansarili lamang ang mitiin. Sa muli, ating ipaalala sa kanila na mayroong pag-asa. Kasi mayroong Katulad na atin na umuunawa, hindi nagbabaliwala at nandang tumulong para sa kapwa. Kaya sa mundong puro paasa, maging jika para sa pag-asa. Grabe, sobrang tago sa pusin ginawa nyo, Kirby. Uh, kaya ka hindi assess your classmates. 50 points, clarity, presentation, 30 points, timeliness. <laughs> Nayak din ba kayo? <laughs> yeah, agree, agree. Great insight. No? From intro to... Yan. <laughs> Thank you, group number three, you know. Your spoken word poetry has the complete parts. From rhyme, no? Sa mundong puro paasa, maging jika para sa pag-asa. And the rhythm, no? Yung, you put different sounds, uh, uh, amount of stress on different syllables. Mas dama. And yung repetition. Audience, stay more focused on the point you are trying to communicate. Kasi, for example, kaya bilang mag-aaral na nasa secondary ang level pa lamang, inulit nyo ulit yun, ulit. Kaya bilang mag-aaral na nasa secondary yung level ng edukasyon, mas nagkaroon ng intense yung inyong spoken poetry. Nakakatuwa. For our critical question, why social groups is uh, social group is important? Relate this to your topic, urban resettlement. And while waiting for your answer, Go group number four. Hello, Paul. And... This is group 4 and kabahagi po ng group 3, kami rin po ay naka-assign sa formal and informal organization. So ayan, inom po muna tayo ng tubig dahil summer mainit. So the first question is, what are the functions of formal and informal organizations in addressing the problem of urban resettlement in the Philippines? So muli, Pag sinabi natin formal, nangangahulugan ito na ang grupo ay may well-defined rules and regulations. Kaya ang binigay namin halimbawa ay 
Department of Human Settlement and Urban Development o DHSUD. Ano nga ba ang DHSUD? It is an executive department created by the Philippine government through Republic Act number no. 11201 responsible for taking charge of housing and related development management. Kapag sinabi po nating pabahay, kung na- naririnig natin sa mga balita, sila po yung uh, tinutukoy na uh, organisasyon na o department na uh, nangangasiwa dito. DHSUD is currently led by Major General Eduardo D. Del Rosario. Agencies that are under DHSUD for cooperation and policy making are National Housing Authority, National Home Mortgage uh, Finet Corporation, Home Development Mutual Fund, and Social Housing Finance Corporation. So may kita po natin na napakaraming nagtatrabaho para sa pabahay, para sa mga maralita. Ang ginagawa naman po nila ay uh, they focus on providing access to decent, affordable, and sustainable housing to those underprivileged families. It is also responsible for the adoption of national policies and strategies to ensure that all projects are aligned with the building adequate, livable, affordable, and inclusive, or balay program. Uh, Gayun pa man, hindi naman po laging magiging sapat yung efforts ng mga formal groups. Kaya naman, nag exist din yung mga informal organization kung saan uh, sila mismo yung lapat na naroon sa kondisyon na kinalalagay nila. Kaya ang binigay po namin halimbawa ay Save San Roque or SSR Alliance. Ano nga ba ang Save San Roque? It is an alliance of individuals and organizations formed in solidarity with Sicho San Roque and the urban poor for the right to the city. And may kita po natin sa photo na they engage in dialogues. Yeah. SSR looks for volunteers interested in joining the following committees. Meron po silang committees na operations, volunteer relations, campaign, sila po yung gumagawa ng statements, press release, sila po yung mga nagsusulat ng mga yan. And meron din pong creatives, illustrators, graphic designers, Meron din pong team for documentation or nagpo-produce po sila ng video. Next is research uh, that engage in participatory research and documentation of people's struggles and their alternatives. So, pagdating na naman po sa programa, mas klaro po yung kanila kaysa sa website po ng DHSUD. They help in advancing the right of community members to the city, write statements with the urban poor community, Initiate dialogue with the city authorities, Eskwela Maralita, Tanimang Bayan, Pusinang Bayan, Community Pantry. Uh, they release documentaries, scene-making, discussions, and workshops. I was able to uh, mention a lot because uh, I was once part of the SSR Alliance. Uh, com- uh, Alliance, SSR Alliance. Ayun po. Uh, share ko po yung kanilang page. May kita po natin yung mga halimbawa ng proyekto na isinasagawa nila. And they really are with the people. Kasi uh, madalas po sa mga organisasyon, uh, para po, uh, this, uh, parang they think na they are saving uh, the people. Pero sila, they are with the people. So that's that tells a lot. Kasi ibig sabihin po ay... Um, yung mga kondisyon po na pinaglalaban nila ay na-experience po talaga ng mga taong nandun. Ayun. So, ayun po, nung nagpunta pa nga po kami dito noong 2019, uh, yung mga mamamayan pa po yung nagpakain sa amin, tapos nilabas nila yung electric fan nila sa bahay nila para electric fan na kami. Ganyan. Mababait po talaga yung mga tao dito sa sitya sa buhay. And hindi lang mang sila basta numero na pwedeng eh, uh, paalisin sa kanilang tinitirahan. Sila yung mga tao. At uh, ayun, kaya patuloy po na nag exist at nag operate ang uh, Save San Roque para ipaglaban ang uh, karapatan ng mga maralita sa lungsod. Ayun po. Next naman po for uh, the last question. 
urban resettlements happen to entire communities, mostly due to the development of urban areas. In an event where people would have to transfer to a whole new community that is unfamiliar to them, social groups are important to help settle in and make lives relatively easier as a support system. Social groups form the foundation of human society. Social groups act as a great support system when needed. Groups can identify problems and unify to help solve them or increase the member's quality of life. Social groups are there so we can feel a sense of belongingness in our community. The closest social group a person can have is with their friends and family, with close ties and more intimate ones. Pero kagaya nga po ng mga nabanggit natin na social groups, formal and informal organizations help uh, the society to advance their rights, welfare, and well-being. Thank you po. Yan na, lalo na sa real-life um, experience mo na shinare sa amin, nakakatawa. Uh, di ba? Napakatapakahalaga, no? It allows people to communicate with in order to meet needs. Uh, groups identi- can identify problems and unify to help solve them or increase the members' quality of life. So, life, last type of uh, social group is according to purpose. So, we have uh, special interest groups which are organized to meet special interests like handicrafts, painting, arts. Task group are group assigned to accomplish jobs which cannot be done by a per- one person. And influence peer group, group organized to support or influence social action. To analyze and appreciate this type of social group, Group 5 created a, an appreciation video to all Marikina Disaster and Risk Reduction Management Team and to different cities and provinces that aid Marikina in times of disaster. Go Group 5! Magandang tanghali po sa lahat. Bago po magsimula yung... Uh, Bago po natin i-play ang video ng Group 5, um, gusto ko lang po sabihin na um, araw-araw sa Pilipinas, marami nagsasabi na nakakaramdam sila, ramdam na ramdam nila yung diwa ng Pasko. Bakit? Ano ba yung ginaga, ginagawa sa Pasko? Um, pagbibigay tulong. At dahil ang na-assign sa grupo namin ay pagbibigay pa sa salamat sa mga tumutulong sa Marikina, mga LGU na tumutulong sa Marikina sa Disaster and Risk Reduction Management Team ng Marikina at mga iba't iba pang tao na tumutulong para maibsan ang sakuna na kinaharap ng Marikina. Um, masasabi natin na sobrang importante ng communication within groups, communication within LGUs dahil um, dahil nag sa commun, dahil sa communication um, mas naiintindihan yung kondisyon ng bawat lungsod at dahil doon um, doon na iibsa na susolusyunan yung problema na kinakaharap ng bawat lungsod sa mga solusyon na ina, inihahain nila sa lipunan at um ito na po yung video namin at ma, masasabi nyo, mararamdaman nyo yung um, sincerity ng pasasalamat sa, mula pa lamang sa thank you at pangalan ng mga tumulong. Um, mararamdaman nyo doon na ang tunay na diwa nga talaga ng Pasko ay nararamdaman natin araw-araw dahil sa pagtutulungan ng bawat tao, bawat lungsod at kung ano yung kaya nilang maiabot na tulong. Ayun po. Um, ayan na po, magsisimula na po yung video. Maraming bagay ang dumarating Lahat ay nilipas din Ligay at kalungkutan Mga panahon din lang Iisa ang tumatagal Tuloy na pagmamahal Sa pag-ibig na taglay Lahat ay mahihigtan Salamat sa pag-ibig 
nasubok ng panahon Dala nito'y liwanag lalo na sa ngayon oh, Tuwing Pasko Thank you. Merry Christmas, Julie, and yung team mo. Ayan. So, kindly assess your classmate. Earpad po tayo. So, explanation, analysis 50, clarity 30, timeliness. <laughs> Very nice. Now. P. Ayan. Sige, let's wait for others. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, wala taga agree. <laughs> okay. Cute, no? Galing, no? Thank you. Merry Christmas na agad. We appreciate uh, not just the team, no, but also the role of science and technology in disaster reduction from mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. In each cycle, as you can see sa screen natin, there are task groups assigned and makikita natin saving lives require a collaborative effort. Pag nakita natin yung disaster management in the Philippines, even dito sa, sa LGU. Kaya my question is, what are the function? Functions of special interest group, task group, and peer group in addressing challenges related to the disaster. So, habang sinasagot niya yan, we'll listen to group number six. Hello, everyone. We were about to present the output of group number six. Waiting na lang po for the presentation. Yan na po. Our group were tasked to answer the following questions. First, what are the functions of, so, of special interest group, task group, and peer group in addressing challenges related to disaster? First, the special interest group functions to establish a collective action effectively to influence policy making and management of disasters. An example of this group is the Union Disaster Management Committee, assigned the responsibility of acting as the Rural Disaster Management Agency. Next one is the task group. These are groups of individuals gathered to perform a specific action or produce a product. An example of this group is the Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases. This is a task force organized by the executive of the Philippine government to respond to affairs concerning emerging, emerging infectious diseases in the Philippines. The last group is the influence or peer group, which are group that functions as immediate support to people. It helps the people receive encouragements and positive interactions when experience the effects of disaster. Next. The next question is the role of innovation in response to problems and challenges related to disaster. Site 1 Innovation in Marikina. Innovation in response to problems and challenges related to disaster help, helps in reducing and or mitigating risk of future disasters through the development of smartphones for fast and easy communication, GPS, radios, and televisions for information dissemination. With the help of such innovation, the preparations and the management for the disasters would be effective as it helps the officials and other disaster management teams in their decision-making and plan execution. One key innovation in Marikina is the use of the siren system to alert people of the water level. It serves as an effective measure that helps the people be updated and know when to evacuate. That's all and thank you for listening. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> All right, we must remember that our safety is not so the sole responsibility of any special task groups. The circle of response, as you can see sa ating screen, starts with self, family, barangay, city, region, country, and worldwide. That's why we have DRR subject diba? with uh, Sir Jess Aguilar so that you know how to handle problems related to disaster. In times of crisis, we appreciate social groups for all the support and help 
di ba, last November, Marikina City was declared under a state of calamity and the Marisay Batch 2016 made Project Luntian that helped students, alumni, and other members of Marisay community affected by Typhoon Ulysses. Our own Marisay SSG had their own donation drive and I'm sure students here in 12 Prudence had your own or their own project or donation drive. So thank you sa tulong ninyo, no? And during this time of pandemic, uh, many social groups help other people through community pantry. At uh, ang ating LGU, meron sa tayong sanitation and disinfection and ayuda and yung sa ating vaccination. Sa school natin, in Marikina Science High School, sa ating wellness, no? we help one another sa pagsisend ninyo ng mga nakakatuwang wellness picture ninyo, di ba? Kay uh, Hugas Abelgas ni Denji, uh, kay, uh, kay Jim, kay Josh, and for group number one, uh, two, to six, and yung teachers din natin, no, pinakita na we are group, we are, we are united, that no man is an island, everyone needs uh, help from someone, from individual ties to community networks and to society. We are all interdependent with each other. Kaya, sending you all love, di ba? So, ayan. How do you feel? So, kindly answer our poll. How do you feel overall about our topic for today? Social groups. Excited to learn more. Makes feeling empowered. Overwhelmed. Ayan. Let me see. <laughs> speechless. <laughs> For no answer, you are speechless. <laughs> oh. You are excited to learn more. Thank you. Wow. Empowered. Ayan. Thank you. So for our Be Assure member of Marisai and community at large, let us listen to Darlene, Synthesis and Reflection. Go, Darlene. Ayan po. So we have established that humans are social beings. Although we are capable of performing tasks, we can only do so much. Our individual efforts alone are not enough. The good news is that when we put these efforts together, we can achieve better living conditions, not only for ourselves, but for the society. So to make up a society, we have groups and social groups. A group is a number of persons with interdependence of roles and statuses. A social group is a collection of individuals who interact regularly, share norms, values, obligations, and interdependence. To give examples, uh, we identify the types of social groups. For social ties, there are primary and secondary, uh, like family, friends. For secondary, we have schools and organization. Next is the social identification or the in-group where you feel like you belong and the out-group where you feel like you do not. And this may also uh, result in stereotypes and other forms of uh, dislike, uh, dislike amongst other groups. Next is organization. We have formal and informal. And lastly, we have the purpose or the special interest groups, task groups, and influence or peer group. Now, to discuss the importance of social group, I will explain this while answering the question below. As a Marisay student, what is your important role in the family, school, and community? I recognize that roles naturally change over time, and experiences of families also differ. In my case, when I was a little kid, my only responsibilities were to study and do my part on household chores. But as I grew older, I was taught how to handle money, pay bills, and participate in family matters. So in school, um, students begin to recognize that grades are not the only basis of learning. Our circles of friends, class activities, clubs, and organizations help us to develop our characters and skills as we all strive to achieve our goals. Lastly, being a child and a student are not separate from being a citizen. What happens at home and in school reflect what is currently happening in the society. For example, we commute to school, to anywhere, so we can't just ignore the jeepney phase up. We buy food from the market, from the canteen, 
So we can't just ignore the price hike. Um, right now, we are currently struggling with online and modular learning because of the uh, slow response to achieve herd immunity. So we can't just ignore the negligence of the national government. So as citizens, as children, and as students, it is our duty to hone and use our skills for the people, not just for self-improvement, not just for self-actualizations. Because again, we are social beings. We live more than just for our individual selves. Thank you, Darlene. It's um, self-renewal for so, uh, societal transformation. Next, what are the things you have learned in the lesson and how are you going to apply it? Sige nga, Ralph. Uh, hello po, ma'am. Uh, sabi na ni Darlene na, pero sige po. Minuhin <laughs> <laughs> niya. So, I learned that uh, social groups po, they are vital uh, for our development because kaya we are social beings and it fulfills yeah. our psycho psychological needs and it gives us a sense of belongingness. And uh, I also learned that it shapes our social identity and self-identity, especially in our primary group because our primary group consists of, of our, our friends, our family, and this is basically the first group that we, are, we, are, we interact with with in we interact with kumula nung bata pa tayo family natin yeah. so yung primary group tayo yung shape sa atin as a human being and i also learned that we have memberships in different uh, social groups and because there are different there are different social groups according uh, accord, according in selection mm -hmm. that um, according to social ties that we have primary and secondary we are member of our we are we have memberships in our family friends and peer social groups as well as our secondary groups which is um goal oriented such as organizations we are also a member of that we can also relate that to us a sports team we are also a member of that social group yeah so in terms of identification like darlene said we have our in group and our out group so how and are you also going our to reference apply group. it Ralph. So, all the, all these learnings, I will apply these learnings um, in my life to further strengthen my existing social groups, my ties with existing social groups. For example, in my family, since they they're my first um, uh, they're the foundation to my they're my first support yeah. level. I will strengthen my um, my ties with my family because family is very important. And after that, when my primary group or my primary social group is strengthened, I will further strengthen my secondary social groups such as organizations in order to further uh, contribute to uh, raising awareness and contributing in solving social uh, social issues like what happened, uh, what we discussed, such as child abuse, um, uh, urban settlement, and disaster. I believe that if we strengthen our uh, primary group, then um widen our network widen our network into um different social groups we are we can we can uh, for we can <laughs> we can further contribute to societal change for so uh, yun, i i would like i would be uh, very careful in picking social groups or um joining certain social groups because not all social groups uh, yes. provide positive consequences some negative there are different social groups po kasi Ayan lang po, ma'am. Pabanggitin ko pa lang para nabanggit mo na. Yeah, that's correct. No? Piliin natin yung right uh, uh, social group. Na, na, makita naman natin yung influences nila sa buhay natin. Alright, so <laughs> let's evaluate how did we achieve the following objectives, yung three objectives natin. Joyce? Okay po. Hello again. Kamusta po ang lahat? A good day to everyone. I am Joyce, your evaluator, to end this another successful discussion. Let's assess if we have and how did we achieve the following objectives. First, we have analyzed the forms and functions of social groups through answering Aquaman's critical questions related to the topic and different issues such as child abuse, urban resettlement, geographic isolation, and disaster. And with that, cognitive objective was achieved. Next, we did appreciate the different forms of social group through a group dynamics entitled the Underwater Challenge. That means effective objective was achieved. 
Lastly, we have written and shared a short reflection on forms and functions of social groups entitled Be a Shore Member of Marisa and the Community at Large. That means psychomotor objective was achieved. Indeed, an insightful and remarkable discussion had just come to an end. That's all and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw na ang next week's universe na 20. Ano kayang lunch niya? No, no? Joyce, thank you, Joyce. So your assignment, well, Prudence, is share to your family and friends the things you've learned and the things you've realized in our UCS Pileso number 13, social groups. And ayan, thank you. It's already 12, uh, 22 sa akin, two minutes na. So thank you so much, uh, 12 Prudence. Thank you po. Yeah. Pakita naman kayo sa cam. Kindly open your cam and kaway-kaway lang. Ayan. Thank you, Yoki. Yeah, Thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Po. Thank you, group hug. <laughs> Tumulong sama sa camera eh. Sige, bye-bye. Pwede nang mag-lunch. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, po. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, Francis! <laughs> Sana masarap po alam nyo. <laughs> Galing exam pa to si Francis eh, sa assessment, exist assessment. Thank you. Thank you po.